Okay, so despite being released just over 19 years ago, the Game Boy Advance SP still provides plenty of entertainment value today. While I do own a Switch, I find myself returning to my Game Boy every so often, especially since Switch Online doesn't yet have its library. As a result, I think I've actually used the system more in the last year than I have in my 19 years of ownership, and yet it still feels just as tight and satisfying to use since the day I got it. This got me thinking about making this video to address why you should get a Game Boy Advance in 2021. Mm, also, it looks retro as fuck. Right, so, a little context. The Game Boy Advance SP was released in February 2003, following the success of the Game Boy Advance. Unlike that, the SP brought about a lit flip-up screen, smaller size, and a rechargeable battery. All caught up? Good. The small and compact size makes for a stylish look, and, to be honest, closing the Game Boy lid is so satisfying. If you feel the rage coming on from missing out on catching Pidgeot, then no worries. Just slap it shut and carry on with your day, even though the volume keeps playing. I think another way in which the Game Boy could be coming back is through a recent renaissance of 2D games in the past decade. For example, Mario Maker, Super Mario Bros, Sonic Mania, and even the recent release of Metroid Dread, all of which are designed in a 2D slash 2.5D format. All of these have sold great, and so there's a clear demand for this style, and so with an oversaturation of 3D games, many are looking for something to give them a fix. Essentially, you could say that the Game Boy Advance is the messiah of 2D gaming. It seems as if we're living in an age of increasing size, whether that's mobiles, TVs, penises, and even consoles. I mean, Jesus, look at the PlayStation 5. It's just so unnecessarily massive. I swear every time I look at it, it's getting slightly bigger. Anyway, you catch my drift. I just crave a fun and simple handheld gaming experience which doesn't ask for compromises. Cue the Game Boy Advance SP. So, like, it's just a square- oh, snap! Yeah, that's right, baby. This system could also double as a substitute for a Transformers toy. The system just has such a sleek look, with its smooth edges and robust design. You drop this, and you can be sure it'll be perfectly fine. Provided what you drop it on is nothing less than bubble wrap. I think the main appeal of a system like this in 2021 is its simplicity. The screen is simple, the design is simple, the buttons are simple. Simple isn't bad, it means the system is approachable to all. Heck, even your dog can figure it out. No joysticks or multiple triggers, just a recognisable A and B button, D-pad and two triggers. Nothing complicated, just gaming at its finest. Following on from this, even the games on the system match the overall retro aesthetic, with many of them following the pixel art style. I don't know why, but I just find this game style so charming. Maybe it's because of nostalgia, or because liking it makes you a hipster gamer. The LCD screen coupled with pixel art games complement each other so well and create a wonderful, uninterrupted playstyle. The GBA library has, at least, 1050 titles which were released on it. And that is insane, especially when compared to the Wii, whose total lifespan saw 1,596 titles on it, and sold considerably better than the GBA. I mean, some of the major titles which were on the Game Boy still stand the test of time. For example, The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, Mario Kart Super Circuit, Metroid Fusion, Super Mario Advance 2, and that's just to name a few. Nintendo certainly didn't hold back on supporting the system, starting with 007 Nightfire in 2003, to the final game of a localised samurai Depot Kyo in 2008. Even in 2021, a system being supported this long, that being five years, is an impressive feat, especially considering it's a handheld. Essentially, if you bought a GBA, then it's fair to say you have a wide game catalogue to choose from. One of my personal favourites would be my copy of Pokemon Emerald. I got this game just over two years ago, around the release of Pokemon Sword and Shield, and was craving a 5 milliliter shot of nostalgia. From the moment I chose my starter Pokemon, 
I knew that these games were suited to the handheld formula so well. I can't really explain how satisfying it is to hold something which just so perfectly fits in the palm of your hands. That's what she said! <laughs> this system is just brilliant. The Game Boy Advance SP is a seamless compound of practicality and style and really pays homage to the idea that good things really do come in small packages.